Let's find the double angle for the sine and cosine and the half angle for them as well. I have the cosecant of theta is equal to the negative screw root of 5, which is the same thing as 1 over the cosine. And then the cosine of theta is less than 0. This means that my angles can be in quadrant, th quadrant 3. So essentially, uh, in this case, my sine theta is going to be equal to negative 1 over the square root of 5. Cosine is going to be equal to um, square root of 5 squared minus 1 squared, which is 4 square root of uh, square root of 4, which is 2. So the cosine of theta, because it's negative, is going to be equal to negative 2 over the square root of 5. Now we can go ahead and start finding our um, angles here. So the sine of 2 theta is going to be equal to 2 times the sine theta, which is negative 1 over root 5 times negative 2 over root 5 is going to be equal to 4 over 5. And then the cosine of 2 theta is going to be equal to cosine squared, which is going to be equal to negative 2 over the square root of 5 minus 1 over the square root of 5 squared, which is going to be equal to 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5, which is equal to 3 over 5. <laughs> Alright, so then our half angles here. Um, half angle of a sine, this is going to be a positive value. Uh, equal to square root of 1 minus the cosine, which is equal, it's going to be plus square root of 5 over 2 is equal to square root of, we're going to do um, 5, because I multiplied through by radical, um, 5 plus 2 root 5 over 5, divided by 2, it's going to give me a square root of 5 plus 2 root 5, over 10. And you can further simplify this down. Um, actually, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let me just make sure here. 14. Yeah, that's right. All right. Coming down, and the final one, we're going to find the half angle of the cosine. We're going to get square root of 1 minus root 5 over 2. It's going to give you square root of. Actually, this is going to be negative because the half angle of cosine in this case, it's going to take me out of quadrant 2, or excuse me, quadrant 3, and take me into quadrant 2. And finally, negative square root of. 5 minus 2 root 5 all over 10. That's it.